continues. When someone's heart is severely damaged, doctors may be able to implant a mechanical pump, sometimes as a permanent assist to the heart or as a temporary measure until transplant. Now, for the first time in the United States, experts are testing a device designed to eliminate one of the big risks. George Mac McAllister is a novice beekeeper and loves keeping up his small family farm. It almost all came to a screeching halt. It was just a struggle to do things, even the simplest things. Five years ago, Max suffered two massive heart attacks. Doctors told him he had congestive heart failure. He'd need a transplant to survive. In December, Mac became the first person in the United States to use a new ventricular assist device, or VAD, called the EVA Heart. It is a continuous flow VAD, which means that blood constantly enters the pump and is continuously pushed out into the circulation. The EVA Heart releases a special fluid that flushes the pump and keeps the blood from clotting, protecting patients from one potential VAD side effect. The thing that we get worried about is these blood clots breaking off and going to the brain and causing a stroke. And that's a scary word. The EVA Heart is larger than other pumps, and despite being tethered to wires and a battery, Mac feels better than he has in years. It's just more like him. It's just, I like it. Our outlook for the future is very bright now. It's a bridge to help Mac's ailing heart while he waits for a new one. <laughs> now, although Mac McAllister is the first person in the U.S. to receive the EVA heart, more than 130 Japanese patients use the device for almost two years while waiting for a heart transplant. Wow. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Charlotte.